winter time in Israel, in Bethlehem, he was born. So for you to have the renewal strength, also in the spiritual uh, covenant, there have to be a time to renew. And uh, the time of our renewal is December. And on that time, Satan works very well. We normally say we are celebrating that he was born, but we are, we are celebrating that he's giving us another strength. But this is the time that Christians, they get tempted. They leave Christ. And the strength of the whole year that is coming is not there. The strength of the year that is coming, we find, doesn't exist. And we find the strength in December, at the time of celebrating Christ when he's born, or when he was born. This is a serious mistake we have today in the church. And this is the thing that makes the church to lose its power. By the time of apostles, everybody feared to join them. And he who joined was serious to extend that he can even sell his house, his car, everything, his field, and give it to God. What is happening now? Our church doesn't have power. Our church now doesn't have power. So, it happens in Christmas. It doesn't happen on the 31st. No. When you are busy celebrating Christmas time, this is a time to pray. This is the time to focus. That's why here, now we have 24 hours prayer. It's going on in Adulam when you are here. Because I realize that bringing it to myself and say I pray for church, you are not seeing it. Let's bring Christians. Let's search for the ones that will pray and become part of that. This is the time of renewal. You don't get power between the year. You don't get power between the year. You get power when the year starts. And the year starts when Christ was born. The year starts when Christ was born. When we talk about first day of the week, it's Sunday, it's not Monday. Many people want to fast on January. Already it's too late. There's nobody who fasted on January who got answers. Nobody fasted in January. God answers. That's why on December, food is galore. That's why in December there is a holiday. Everybody's coming. So it's the right time of putting yourself aside for God. You know very well that the reasons why you are able to call on your phone is because of network. On January, there's too much network that when you are crying, someone is crying better. On December, nobody's crying. And that is why your prayer can be heard in, in a very mighty way. We, we are making a mistake. I'm just revealing that to people who are here today. This is a mistake in the Christian dome whereby you want to hear from God but you don't know that the strength of God is needed on you. 
you want to hear from God with the wrong strength, with your own ability. You want to hear from God, you want to hear the voice of God, but that voice of God, you want to hear it in a wrong time. If you start well, you will end well. Can you tell me, if you start well, you will end well. You must start with prayer, you will end in prayer. You who start in prayer will end in prayer. If we just start by celebrating, it's very good to celebrate on the 31st. Because you already prayed. You know why you are going to celebrate off. So this is the problem we have in a church. That's why the church today is really affected. It is easy now in the church that you can be deceived, especially in South Africa. So easy, the church in South Africa, South Africa is, South Africans are very simple to be deceived. Very simple. If, if Satan want to bring Matthew 24, he'll bring it to South Africa. Matthew 24 will be fulfilled here. Because South Africans, they are, they are lazy to read the Bible. They are lazy to pray. And also they love prophecy. They want to be told what they know. It will be very easy for someone to come and say, Jesus is telling me about this to you. Whereas he have his goal. South Africans, they are in danger. Satan can manipulate this country. I can tell you that someone in South Africa can say, you know what, I died in 2016. No one question, why now are you standing here? This is 2021. And the pastor says, now I res resurrected 2021. And you believe. And if you ask, why you resurrected 21? It's because I didn't want to die 2021, 2016. I was forced to die. You believe. You believe everything. Why? Because you don't know where to draw the strength from God. If you know where to get the power of God, you'll start with prayer. When you hear something, you will run to God to pray. Right now, can you see what you're doing? You don't go to church for the word of God. You go to church to hear about what you want to hear. Something that you don't want to pray and ask God about it, you want someone to tell you. We are so much lazy in South Africa. Lazy. The church is asleep. This is the time now. Some of you, when you are here, you are thinking about going home. Others have gone home already. And when you reach home, what they did last year, they redo it again. You face the same thing. That is why stagnation is every year. Trouble, trouble, trouble. When you reach home, oh, they say, oh, Ah, our custom is back. They gather. They give you a baboon. You come back here. You search for a job. When you enter, they see a baboon. Sorry, there's no job here. December, you are going home to get another bigger baboon. They are planning for you. They know you are coming. Why December troubled you like this? And why people die in December? Why? Because everybody wants to go home. I'm just giving this introduction to you. If you don't pray, you do what other people are doing. Let me try to tell you what makes God to begin to work with me. 
I told my wife that we are no longer going home until we see something. On those two years, we even forgot what is Christmas. Sometimes we just remember, oh, today is Sunday when people are coming to church. We forgot the dates. This issue of the dates are really affecting you as a church. Tell the neighbor, say, what is happening with your Christmas? Yeah, you will steal. The whole year you could not get money. You want to get money now so that you go and get baboon. You come back again. You forget about the whole year and celebrate. This is 2022. And this 22, January, February, you don't see anything. December, you go home. January, you are coming back to do a fasting. Fighting the same thing, you go to get it at home. This is the time that you were supposed to be, if you have money of going home, you send it to your parents. And say, my parents, I want to pray. Can you just hold this for Christmas? I want my parents to celebrate. When they are happy, they I'm praying here. And something will happen. You won't change yourself. You even change the life of your parents. But look at yourself. Satan will get you. Satan will get you. Cancel the spirit of Satan. Cancel the spirit. The money you have. What are you going to do home? You are going to trouble mama. At home you are not working. Now your parents are expecting you to come and change the situation. You are just going to sit around the tree. Turning around for mama to cook. Or yourself to cook. You finish the food at home. You must go home to bless your parents only. When you go home, you are going to see the parents and bless them and whatever they speak, it will work for you. They might not be Christians, but you will live long. That's what the Bible says. Now, can you see your Christian life? Can you see? You are here today. Home, 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 home. And you are going home like you are working. And when you reach there, you are just turning around, see people buying groceries. You are just turning around. You are turning around. Your brothers and sisters, now they say, but info, your things are not moving. I mean, we know there's another song on that side. They preach to you. This is the time now that you say, I don't want to go home. Let me take the money that I want to use it to go home and send it to my parents to have Christmas. Let me go and pray. Now, when you go home, the first thing that you must do, because you are from Jobek, you must go to Saloon. You go to Saloon. Take the money of Saloon. Take the money of your clothes. Send it to your parents. Go and pray. Go and pray. One day, God will bless you. Now you drive with a car. You carry things for your parents. You go and bless them. You go out for holiday. Holiday is not for home. Ask wise people. They go out to the sea. There. They go out to other countries. This is the time that we need to change how we do things as Christians. We pray. We pray. We pray. If we don't pray, we'll find ourselves, another one is back home, is using a charm. Another, that's why family is divided. Today now, you people here, you grew up together, but you cannot eat from the same dish. Because you are, you are home. In the morning, you, 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 you act 
act like you are sleeping so that another one will buy bread. You are home there. You want that one to finish his money. Yourself, you, you, you are like, you are not well. Uh, you, you start to have a flu without flu. Look at the life that we people we are living. This is the time we change this system. Uh, I don't know if you are hearing me. Many of you, you have not done anything for your parents. Or elders at home. You might not be having parents, but there's someone at home. Just to say, Mama, I'm sending 100 rand. I don't have, your mom will just say, oh, my child. You know, my child, things must go well. Here, you are calling your God. You know very well that uh, if you're not working, no one will listen to you at home. People are coming with different cars there. And Satan bless them so that your God must not be seen. When you reach your home, there is competition. Yourself now, you're just sitting, you say, short left, short right, short left, short right, short left. Themselves, they are overtaking you. They are coming there with a cars of big uh, tires. And when you reach there, when they have a meeting, even if you talk sense, no one will listen to you. Because sense is not working for you. If sense is working for you, they need to see the results. We need to pray. If you believe, say amen. amen. Maybe when I'm speaking this, it will really offend you. It will really offend you. But look what is happening now. You cannot start a year January. You cannot start a year January. You start a year when Christ is born. Christ is not born January. So this is what I want to tell you. If you go home, some of you right now, I know, I know how witches work. I thought they just wake up in the, in the night and they stand and say, Eta, buya, buya, nana kahaye. And from there, kya haye na, kya haye, unali chelet. Uyo dira in kwa haye. Kya haye, it was working, kya haye, kya haye. Now, you have to go to that saloon, wao dira mi riri. Uru won tsuru cha khaute. Wao dira mi riri itle mo. Kamo tsuri ni plastiki mo. The tsuri ni kuba, sa last of last year. Mutsuwa. The moment when you enter your mouth, we say, ah, oh, I'm sure we will be Rama or Bodor. I can we will something. Honor, honor, oh, my God. You can't say Samuel. Now your mouth will be saying, oh, I can see what you're like. You kill your parents. Many of our parents, they don't live long because of how we present ourselves. How we normally try to make them to understand our situation. This is not the time of calling your parents, Kia hai, hey hai, hai. No, you surprise them. Surprise them. Tell them, I won't come back. I want to send you money for Christmas. What will we do? No, Mama, don't worry. And then I'll make sure that I come back. But I won't come back this Christmas. You have confused Satan. You have confused Satan. Even when you want to go home, don't tell them. Me and Mama, when we go home, in the morning, my parents, my mom, even her parents when she was still alive, they, they, they end up knowing us. We just park a car on the gate. And in the morning, they realize, ah, we are here. Ah, uh, we know, we knew you are coming. And they will be very much excited because at least it's early. At least it's early. We are there to bless them. And the more you bless your parents, is the more you'll be successful in life. Uh, I don't know if you're hearing me. Some, some of you, I know, you can't bless your parents because now you call them witches. So, I wonder if you're not a witch. Because... Where do you come from? 
Where do you come from? Because some of you now, you can't bless your parents. Because they are witches now. You're a double witch. So, there are many things I want to teach you today. I just felt I need to tell you this. Start a year with prayer. Not January. Not January. Tell your neighbor, don't, don't pray in January. Everybody in January, people who are going to pray in January are those who finish money in December. Those who finish money in December and they've eaten a lot. January, no, accident. You, you fast when food is galop. When everybody is eating, you are crying to God. Go will hear your prayer. Be a po- opposite person. Don't pray when other people are praying. Can you see now we have started to pray here? Other people are thinking about kia hai, kia hai, kia hai. We are more to deliver. You'll be delivered. Because we pray when other people are not praying. Don't pray by group. Have your own way of praying. If you believe, say amen. amen. I don't want to talk too much, otherwise I'm trying to wake you up. And this has been happening. Me and Mama, we don't go home on Christmas. We go out for holiday. Not home. What we were doing before, we were here. When we don't have money, we'll be here. When we have money, we'll go away there. If you can't go away, pray. Tell them, if you can't go away, pray. Don't go to Debe. Don't go to Debe. Where everybody is going there. I was telling you that uh, I went to Debe. If you want to go to Debe, don't go by the time of Christmas where sharks now. In the deep sea, they are beginning to hear there is people who are lost there. Who don't have money and they come and sleep very close to seashore. I found people parking cars, sleeping inside the cars there. There's a Kiona Debe. I pray you don't go to de- de- in December. Go give you money. Amen. When he gives you money, honor your parents first. Amen. I say, honor your parents first. Amen. Look around your family, bless uh, your sister's children, whoever. Don't hate anybody. Don't, have, don't be offended. Love everyone. And God is going to raise you up. God knows your heart if you believe, say amen. I want to say congratulations on what I'm telling you. God bless you. If you, if you didn't listen to me today, I don't know. I don't even know. If you want God to use you, this is the time to pray. If you want revelations from God, this is the time to pray. Can I tell you what is happening? It's like this. You start here. You end here. Where you start... That's where you are renewed. Where you are renewed is where Christ is born. When people are celebrating Christ is born, is born. You pray. You pray on that time. And thank God. Thank Him. Don't pray because you want something. The Bible says pray without ceasing, meaning pray without a reason. Pray without ceasing, meaning pray without what? A reason. If you pray, in James 4, verse 4, it talks about you pray amiss. That's why you cannot receive. Because God doesn't want us to pray to get something. Remember Matthew 6. It says that he knows what we want before we ask him. So what are you telling him? 
So when you go and pray, you'll be thanking him. Father, I have reached now. This is the beginning of the year. This is the beginning. Because those who trust in you, their strength shall be renewed. Their strength shall be renewed. You forget these things of, oh, when you come February, 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 don't even ask for a jo- job. Don't first say, I'm taking these three days, I want to change something in your job. Nothing will change. Take three days and thank him that you gave me this job. You know what, what will happen to God? God, you gave me this job, I thank you. You know what God will say? No, 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 I didn't give you this job. Let me promote you. If you pray and say, God, you gave me these people, you know what God will do? Will reveal these people that they are not true. You pray thanking him in thanksgiving. You give thanksgiving to God concerning everything. That is your prayer and things will work. I found people who are false because of that. People will be around me. I say, God, I thank God about this man. You are raising him up. Go say, I didn't raise him. This man will leave you. Say, how? Yes. Ah, why do you say I must use him? So that you'll be exposed. Use him. But he's not with you. When you pray, you pray, you want to marry a woman. You say, thank you, Lord about this woman that I want to marry. You gave me a right woman. Go come and tell you, this is a witch. This is not a right woman, it's a witch. will sit on top of you. Now, what you are doing now, you are praying, God, bless me. Oh God, give me, oh, God, give me the date now. Give me the date. On the 4th, on the 5th, on the 7th, must not pass. You're in danger. It will pass.